There's a story in the Bible about how Peter's shadow was healing people. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, and so why don't you give me that camera? Because you're gonna put your shadow, uh, you're gonna put your shadow on his hip because he hurt. You hurt your hip, you said? Yeah, uh, uh, like right here. Playing basketball. Yeah. Okay, so there's so find your shadow. There's your shadow. Put your shadow on his hip, and I believe you're gonna feel the power of God. And you're gonna get healed. Okay. Okay, now uh, move your hip around. Are you feeling any kind of thing? Anything going on in your hip right now? Uh, no, not really. I right, matter of fact, let me be more, let me be more specific. Like yeah. right here. Yeah, feel there. Tell me, move it around. Tell me you feel anything going on there. Yeah, it's pain. You feel pain right there? Yeah. Okay, did you feel any tingling or heat when he put his shadow on you? No. Yeah, move around a little bit. Go like this. Move your legs up and down. Man, it still hurts. It still hurts. Like it's my whole leg right now. I'm going to stand on it. Oh, okay. Here, you take this. Okay, all right. Sometimes, sometimes if one method, if one method doesn't work, you use another method. So I'm going to just tap your hip. So, so no, no, no worries. It's, uh, right here. Okay. Pain go now in Jesus' name. Jesus loves you. Now move your hip around. What the heck? Mouse gone? No way. No way. No way. No way. It's gone. You felt like a, you felt like power shooting into you? I don't know. Nah, it just felt it just felt like a regular tap. And it's, yeah. And that is no pain. Yeah, and it affected my whole leg. And now it's gone. No way, no way, son. Nah, I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it. Nah, that's gotta. No now, way. Yeah, now, you know what? You know what? I'm kind of glad I had him put his shadow on you at first because it shows that you're not faking it right now. <laughs> nah, it's really. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not joking. I'm I believe you. I was still in shock. I believe you. I was still in shock. I believe you. And you believe it. I was Jesus. suffering this whole morning. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. This is when you know it's not real. I just came from the gym. I don't, I don't even know these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. And you believe in Jesus, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah, amen. Well, you know, the Bible says that by his stripes you have been healed. It's for you, you know? And it's like the fact that his shadow did not work on it at that moment doesn't really mean anything. Because like, like I said, if one method doesn't work, use another method. Maybe God wanted to use the method of laying on of hands. Because I know, I've used my shadow to heal many people. And I know, even though Terrell hasn't yet, I know that he can. Because the same spirit that is in me is in Terrell. You know, but apparently God wanted to use that method, so. <laughs> wow, man, that's amazing. That's, that's amazing. That's a gift right there. You know what? It, it's like, uh, when you believe in Jesus, he comes to live in you. That power is in you, too. You can do the same thing for people. Like because, it, because when you believe that that power is in you, you can lay hands on a sick and see them recover, mm -hmm. because that's in you. And I can see, I can see that you believe in Jesus. I can see the love of God on your face. You know, when I asked you if you believe, I just wanted to confirm by hearing you say yes. But I can see it. You can see it in him, right? I sure can. You know, so like it's in you. So like when you find people that are sick or in pain, you can say to them, you know, Jesus has provided healing. You know, and it's like you can get healed, and then like the laying on of hands, you can speak to it. You can even put your shadow on it. You know, and you know it will work even. You know, and it's like in fact, I know it, I'm going to have him do that again today because I know it's going to work. You know, because if you see it in the Bible, any method of healing that you see in the Bible will work, mm -hmm. because because if it worked for them, it'll work for you. Mm. Ain't that amazing? It is. It, I'm, I'm happy for you, bro. I'm still in shock. I'm happy I'm for you. Honest, I'm really still in shock right Are you now. on the school team? Huh? Are you on the school team? No, I played okay. in a 5 um, 5 tournament. Okay. Yeah, so yesterday. You're going to play a whole lot better now, bro. Let me tell you. It's for real. Cause, yeah, oh, man, my leg, was, my leg was killing me this morning. I, when I was playing ball, I couldn't even run. Like, I was just straight up shooting. I was in, I was not trying to run or nothing. And then... Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. No, say, say yes, I believe. <laughs> yes, I believe. I'll tell you that one. Yes. Amen. God bless Amen. you. Bro. God bless you too, man. It was great meeting you. All right, bro. Nice to meet you too. All right, bro. Circles through us. Uh and so and so uh here's your shadow here. So and, and, and what happened to you now? You tore ligaments? Yeah. And, in your left ankle, yeah. and how did that happen? Oh, in a volleyball game, going to a block, fell on my friend's foot, and my foot twisted. And how long ago was that? Um, May, about three, four months. Five, three, three, four 
four months ago. Wow, and it still hurts. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, still some soreness there, yeah. some tenderness. Yeah. So it's like taking longer to heal than it should have. Well, I'm not really sure, but yeah, you can say that. Okay, all right, so Terrell, the, the, Terrell's gonna put his shadow on your ankle. So you go over there on that side of him, because, because Peter's shadow is healing people. So, uh, okay, all right, now, just stand still with your shadow on him, all right? And, and the Bible says that the same spirit that was in Peter is in Terrell. So if it worked for Peter, it'll work It'll work for Terrell. So, so how is your ankle? Move your ankle around right now and tell me if you're feeling anything going on in your ankle. Is there anything going on? Anything changing? Yeah, it's feeling a little different. Are you feel, what, what is the manifestation you're feeling there? Uh, it's hard to describe. Uh, is it, all right, I'll help you out. I, I didn't want to like I didn't want to say what the manifestation was because I didn't want to like su do suggestive type thinking, you know. But uh, is it like a tingly feeling? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, <laughs> that's a common manifestation. When somebody's getting healed, they'll feel like a tingly feeling and they'll feel heat. Did you feel any heat in your ankle? I was just about to say. <laughs> you were just about to say. <laughs> you were just about to say. <laughs> okay, so so go go like this. Lift up on it. Lift up on it. In in uh, because like the Bible says, faith without works is dead. And so when you're moving it around, that's you displaying faith. So how's it feeling right now? Injured. It feels like you didn't get injured. Yeah. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I told you that would work. My name is Tom. This is my friend Terrell. We're ministers. We pray for people and they get healed. Do either one of you guys got any pain that won't go away? Any old injury, sickness, pain? You do? What's the matter? I lost that. Everything. I got arthritis and everything. Really? You're so young. How long have you had that? Oh, you want a car accident? Now, when somebody gets into a car accident, sometimes there's a, a spirit of trauma that latches on to that person at that point of impact. It's, it's like a shocking event, you know? Like, you get into a car accident, you're like, oh, what just happened? You know, and like, you lose a few seconds in life. It's like a traumatic event. Who does this at the noise of the cars? It's traumatic. And so, like, and so like at that point, a spirit can get into you. So, like, I would say to you that... It's not really arthritis, but rather there's a spirit of trauma that needs to get cast out so that you can heal. Because that's what it does. That unclean spirit tries to prevent you from healing. Because God loves you. You're made in the image of God. God made mankind in his image. So he loves everybody and he wants you whole. So Terrell is going to tell that spirit of trauma to leave you, to leave your back, okay? Okay, so so God, you just say spirit of trauma, yeah, leave him in the name of Jesus. Christ and pain go. Spirit of trauma, leave his back in the name of Jesus Christ and pain go now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now move your back around a little bit. Right. And and has pain lessened? A little. A little bit. And now you were you weren't expecting this. Nobody ever does when I go up to people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not at all. So like, but some people, their reaction when they're not expecting it takes them by surprise and the guard goes up in a way, you know? So so right now I release peace to you in the name of Jesus. He loves you. So all fear, stress, and anxiety get away from him in Jesus' name. Jesus is Lord. You're a liar, Satan. Loose a hold of him. You can't keep him in bondage anymore from that car accident. So all arthritis go. All pain leave him now in Jesus' name. Every unclean spirit leave him now. Jesus is Lord. Be set free in Jesus' name. Now move around, go like this, and tell me if you're feeling any different. Uh, I don't know, uh, I just got done playing three games of football. I think better than I did five minutes ago. You feel good right now? Yeah. From that? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. What, what did you feel? Were you feeling any manifestations? Uh, no, I just like... Uh, no, I mean like when I prayed. Like, like, now, uh, I just felt like a whole bunch of weight. Just like my there you go, a bunch of weight. When, when, uh, when people feel something lifting over their shoulders, that's usually an unclean spirit leaving. Like they'll feel a burden leaving. Because that's what evil spirits do, they weigh you that down. That is what I need. That's what you need too? Yes. Okay, now. I feel horrible right now. My back, my leg, the back okay, of my legs. This is a great situation right here. You, you, don't, you don't know Jesus personally, do you? All right, but that helps you to believe, right? 
Okay, so now, the, this is the gospel. The, the, the gospel is this, that Jesus came to this earth about 2,000 years ago preaching love and forgiveness. He said, love people, forgive people, and believe that I am who I say I am. I'm going to die for your sins because you're not good enough to get to a perfect God's heaven on your own merits. We all fall short of the glory of God because we've all sinned. Yep. I know you've sinned. I don't even need to know you. I know because I have too. You know, so like, so Jesus took the penalty, he paid the price for your sins, but he came out of the grave three days later. He said he would, and he was seen alive by over 500 people at the same time. That's the hope of the Christian. So that when you put your trust in what Jesus did for you, he saves you. God imputes righteousness to you, which means he gives you righteousness as a free gift. And then he puts that desire in your heart to want to know him more. You want that, right? Okay, so the Bible says if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved, all right? So say this, say, Father in heaven, I believe you sent Jesus to die for my sins. I acknowledge I'm a sinner in need of a savior. I repent of my sins and I ask you to help me because I can't overcome sin on my own. I believe Jesus is alive, and I receive him as my Lord and Savior. Amen. Okay, now, Lord, thank you for him. Thank you that you love him. So, Holy Spirit, come upon him in power. Fill him, Holy Spirit. Your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You belong to Jesus. So, all pain, leave him completely in Jesus' name. Be totally restored to health in Jesus' name. No arthritis, no pain, no trauma, nothing. Jesus is Lord, and you belong to him. He loves you. You feel something more from that, don't you? Okay, now, this is crazy. Watch this. Yeah, let me see this. Now, now you, now that you believe in Jesus, you have all the power in you. You've got God living in you now. He's changed you, and you've got everything you need to minister the healing to other people. And you said you have pain where? My calves. Your calves? Back here. Back here. Every, and what's I, that from? Playing football. <laughs> So you got a lot of stress and pain in you from all that. Okay, put your hand on his shoulder and tell the pain to leave in the name of Jesus Christ. Speak to it. I believe this pain get away out of this body from God sent from the heavens on earth. Please leave this soul now. Wait, and don't even say please. Command it to go in the name of Jesus. I command you to leave in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now move around. Look at his face. <laughs> Move around. Move around. I knew by his face immediately something was happening. Dude, what's going on? What's going on? Shit, what the hell, man? <laughs> oh, fuck, no. Come on, come on. Come on, you feel good, don't you? Yo, God, what the hell? What are you feeling? What are you feeling? Yo, nigga. What are you feeling? Oh, no. <laughs> Oh shit, like it's gone. Yo, I believe in Jesus. I do. I study the Bible because I take Bible studies. Yeah. You, <laughs> you just yo, bro. You just got <laughs> saved and already a second later you're ministering healing to somebody. <laughs> yo, bro, ain't that crazy? Yo, that ass, like, That's crazy. I don't feel I don't know. I don't feel you don't feel it's anything. It's pain no more. Right. <laughs> in, in my head. It's crazy. It's amazing. Now let me ask you something. 